Guys, what is good, man? Um, first of all, I'd like to say, you know, I hope everyone's doing well. Everyone's out here staying safe and staying and, and staying healthy. Moving towards your goals each and every day, getting the ball rolling. You know, doing good stuff in the world, doing good, doing good deeds. Anyway, guys, today we have a passage from the Coiled Serpent, which is a book explaining why we are. Um, Explaining abstinence, you know, um, this is a very, this is a book that I actually uh, am, am reading at the moment, several, several chapters at a time. Um, but I've got a specific passage today, guys, which I think is, is really enlightening, you know, it's, it's not completely about abstinence, it's about spirituality as well. Um... I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get straight into this. So, it goes like this. Whoever pulls himself loose from the confining adherence to popular opinion and rises morally and spiritually above the surrounding group is scoffed and ridiculed. Now, guys, what does that mean? Well, a lot of a lot of people nowadays are very uh, zombie-like, you know. Um, and, and I hate to say this, man, because I'm trying to bring people up. I'm trying to wake people up a little bit. Um, and grow myself ultimately, but a lot of people are on the same frequency. A lot of people are, you know, they accept operating on the same frequency as other people. But when these people elevate themselves, when there's when there's a select few people that elevate themselves and stand out in the group among society, you know, we are obviously we 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 gain more attention because of that. You know, we're operating at a higher frequency. And there's going to be a lot of people who are envious of that. And you just have to, to be aware of that type of attention. You're going to get two types of attention. You're going to get the good type of attention. And you're obviously going to get the negative type of attention, which is the envy. Now, guys, let's carry on. <clears throat> this has always been the fate of those who aspired to realities within, instead of reaching like most of the others for... Um, uh, for others for for unreal realities without that's basically just saying uh, what I was saying people that aim for excellence always are tested they're always um, you know they're always tr they're always tested by other people uh, and that really comes out through satire a lot of people, you know, they might ridicule you, they might scoff at you through uh, satire, when really all truth is, uh, all truth is found through jest. All right, guys, let's carry on, let's carry on. Uh, do, 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 do. Always the wisdom lover is rebuked uh, by the many as though he were beside himself. Always men are attacked for seeking perfection. That's true, again, you know, it's pretty much reiterating what I was just saying. The men that seek perfection are always the ones that are quickest to get brought down in society. And if they try to tell the others that greater things can be acquired by a renouncing of the lesser, they're hated and despised. So it goes, okay, so we're talking about mainly upgrading ourselves, you know, self-improvement-wise now. But at the end of this passage, it talks about lust and abstinence. So we're going to get to that in a second. But let's just go on to that point. They're hated and despised, bro. So guys, pretty much just everything I was saying beforehand, you know, um, not everybody's going to agree with your journey. Not There's a very small percentage of men in general participating in self-improvement, advancement, personal development. So let's continue. Always men seek to vilify uh, whoever teaches them discipline, the senses in order that their higher nature may appear. Basically, it's pretty much. Um, and, and he escapes with rare good fortune if his chastity or his uh, virility is not assailed. Now let's, let's, let's go to the final uh, chapter, the final passage of this chapter. What else can be expected when the mass of men are so prone to lust that they cannot delight in any pleasure, uh, any pleasure, save such as they receive from bodily sensations? 
Now, what he's basically saying is that a lot of men are blinded by their lust. You know, they submit to their lust, and because of that, they are so dull-witted. Um, you know, they do not accept higher uh, frequency people into their life because they are operating on a low frequency themselves, and they're doing low vibra uh, low frequency things. Um, and and that's really the killer of men: lust. You know, that really drops your drops your uh, frequency a lot on the frequency scale. Um, bodily sensations in in the world in which we live when one is seeking rejection uh, one is seeking when, when one is seen rejecting these physical sensations for the sake of spiritual realization it is the usual thing that the rest are of opinion that to him uh, who has no part in bodily pleasure or life is not worth living right so a lot of people think that you know without bodily pleasure there's there's not much thrill in life there's not much there's not much excitement however that's completely wrong when you embark and embrace semen retention when you go on this journey of semen retention abstinence it's like where has all this happiness been been this whole all these years you know you get energy you get all these things but when people as it says when people advance when people reject physical sensations for the sake of spiritual realization it is, the, it is the usual thing that the rest are of opinion, the rest being the population of opinion, that to him who has no part in bodily pleasure, uh, life is not worth living. So they, that they completely reject that, reject the idea of abstinence, semen retention. So I thought, guys, that would be helpful for you guys today. Uh, that was just a passage of The Coiled Serpent. Now, guys, if you want to pick that up, you can pick that up on Amazon. Um, it's actually a really good read. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom is in that book. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a banging day, a great day. Um, I'm going to be cracking on with my day now. Use this day for good, for good, guys. You know, um, get a lot of good things done and move forward with life. Anyway, guys, that's been Frank here, man. Subscribe, share, like, do all that good stuff. Um, stay blessed and stay healthy. We're on this journey to become wealthy. I'm our brothers.